Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and in this video we are going to see how we can install Visual Studio Code in MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon's M1 chip and Mac OS Big Sur. And as you can see in my earlier video I was talking about the new MacBook Pro that I have bought and the configuration that I have got is the Mac OS Big Sur operating system and it is a MacBook Pro 13 inch and the chipset I'm using is the Apple EM1 and the memory is a 16 GB. So this is the configuration I have got and this is the operating system that I'm using which is the latest and the greatest of everything. And we all know that the MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon EM1 is actually an ARM architectured processor. That is, it is not an usual x86 processor of Intel and running any software which is developed for Intel architecture will need an emulation. If not, the software will not run. Hence, Apple introduced a transition layer called Rosetta 2 to run any software which is built for Intel architecture to run on the ARM-based M1 chip, which is nothing but the new chip that we're talking about. Which means, usually, any software that is built at least until today because M1 is a new chipset, those software will not really support the M1 chip straight away. So we need some sort of emulation and Rosetta 2 is going to do it for us. And Visual Studio Code, if you go to the visualstudiocode.com website right now, you can see that Visual Studio Code actually has got a download option which actually tells you that download the Visual Studio Code for Mac and if you download that this is actually going to download the Visual Studio Code which is going to run on the Intel based architecture the processor and it is not actually going to run on the new M1 based architecture because you don't even understand that and hence all the software which are going to run right now is going to be running on the Rosetta 2 transition layer which is nothing but an emulation layer and that's when the software may be a bit slower to run, but actually it is really, really faster. So if I go to the download from where I have downloaded this particular Visual Studio code, and if I hit open, you can see that it is currently installing the Visual Studio code for me. So just, you can see that it's jumping and Visual Studio code is now available for us over here. And this is actually an Intel based architecture. And if you don't believe me, all you can do is you can directly go to the activity monitor of the Apple Big Sur and you can see that it is going to show you the Visual Studio code which is currently running on this particular operating system. So if I just go over here, so the Visual Studio code comes in and you can see that the architecture it shows is actually an Intel architecture. So it is basically running on the Intel architecture at the moment over here. And other softwares like the Notes or the Apple based software are actually running on the architecture of Apple. So you can see that there is an Apple architecture over here. The one software which I'm using currently is the Camtasia 2020 is also of architecture, which is Intel, but actually it is running on an emulation layer and I don't really see any difference with both of them right now. So you can see that the installation of Visual Studio Code has actually happened and it is running on an Intel processor architecture software which is running on the Rosetta 2 emulation layer but I don't really see any difference with both of them. So if I try to perform any operation like pretty much like how we usually do it is going to work pretty much exactly the same way how it actually works. So for example if I am going to uh, uh, install a puppeteer and if I want to see how it actually works so I'm just going to go create a puppeteer over here and you can see that it's pretty much exactly as fast over and then I can just create the package.json and I'm going to create the dev dependencies and you can see that I don't really see any difference with both of them so I'm just going to install the puppeteer right now and I'm going to open the terminal which is nothing but the integrated terminal and if I do an npm install of course I don't really have any npm in here because I have not installed even the npm within my machine so this is a brand new machine I have not installed anything at the moment so I actually need to install the npm and then I can install the softwares and stuff but I'm going to do all those things in a later upcoming videos but as of now you can see that this is pretty clear and evident that the software actually runs without any problem and the installation of Visual Studio Code is pretty much like just double clicking it and it's just running right now but we can also see that Microsoft has also introduced or released 
an experimental build to run the Visual Studio code on the ARM based processor or the ARM architecture processor. You can actually get that from over here, the Insiders Edition. So if you go to the Insiders Edition, you can actually see there is something called as an ARM64 experimental option. So this is the download from Mac, which we just downloaded from the Mac and we're just running it right now. But this is the ARM64 experimental feature, which is going to be for both Windows ARM processor. If you remember, Microsoft has been talking about the Windows 10 support running on the ARM architecture from Qualcomm processor, but they're pretty slow. But Apple has surprisingly released that just last month. So we'll see how the ARM64 experimental feature is going to run on the Apple M1 and we'll see how it actually works. So basically, we all know that the M1 processor is an ARM architecture processor. So this software that we are going to install should run for the Apple as well. So you can see that it is currently installed. So if I just go, you can see that this is a Visual Studio Code exploration. So this is a different thing and the color is like orange color this time. So we'll see how it actually looks. You can see that it is, is opening pretty faster than the usual one. And we can see in the activity monitor, the exploration is actually of an architecture of Apple, which is pretty cool. So basically this architecture is not an Intel architecture, rather this is an Apple architecture or the ARM powered architecture, which is something Microsoft is currently supporting for the Apple M1 as well. So this is really, really cool. So it's, we already have a feature running and this is running without any problem. So you can see that definitely this is working fine without any problem. So if I try to open anything over here, like Puppeteer uh, in this case, you can see that it is pretty faster. So this is it guys. I mean, this is pretty faster. So if I just try to uh, close the Visual Studio Code, both of them like that. And if I try to open Visual Studio Code, this one, let's see how it works. You can see that it is actually blinking some time to open the Visual Studio code, which is because it is running on the Rosetta 2 transition layer and it is a bit slower. You can see that definitely it is a bit slower than the ARM architecture. So let me just close this and if I just open the Visual Studio code, the exploration one, if I just open that, you can see that boom, it just comes in just like one uh, or maybe like two seconds. But the Visual Studio Code with the Intel architecture is a bit slower because it is doing the transition stuff. Hopefully most of the software is currently available will start targeting to the Apple's M1 architecture and you could see the speed will be much faster and hopefully things will be all right. But I, I don't see any problem with the Camtasia which I'm doing the recording at the moment. It's all looking pretty good. All right guys, we'll see how we can install the Playwright or Puppeteer and Cypress and all those installation in our upcoming videos with the Apple Silicon M1 chipset and we'll try to do some testing and also exploration of our automation testing using this Apple's M1 powered processor. Catch you in our next video. Thank you.